As the Lukeville crossing remains closed, many older Americans living in Rocky Point are running out of their medications, unable to see their doctors. ABC 15's Josh Cristianto joins us live in the newsroom with that. Josh, it sounds like there's a small but mighty effort to provide some help here. Well, that's right. A woman named Elizabeth says she runs supply and medical errands for around 50 older Americans living in Rocky Point normally. But with Lukeville's point of entry closed, she's having to take the long way around this time. Gates are still closed at the border, and that's making things hard for Elizabeth Sagoon, who assists dozens of older Americans living in Rocky Point with getting essential medication and groceries at the Lukeville Post Office. Instead of being two hours, taking 14 hours now. On Wednesday, Sagoon will be driving from Rocky Point to San Luis Rio, Colorado, and Mexico to cross the border. Then it's a drive up to Gila Bend before heading down to Lukeville. It'll take over six hours just one way. It's further, but they say that's the safest because of, there's other things that are happening with, you know, cartels are going to fight. Robin Miller says besides safety concerns, the longer trips would be more costly for her. All her doctors are in Tucson. It's where she gets her Medicare-covered prescriptions in person, too. For now, she's been buying lower-quality insulin in Mexico to stay healthy. I have to buy my medication here because I have more medication. And I just bought some, I don't know, about three weeks ago, over $700 out of my pocket. Miller says this border closure has been worse for the area than the COVID-19 shutdowns in 2020. And for many who rely on it, the opening can't come soon enough. Please, please get it open. Oh my God, probably one of the most happiest days of my life. It's like winning the lottery with the day that they open it. And we don't have any word yet on when the Lukeville point of entry will reopen, even as an American delegation met with Mexico's president last week. We'll, of course, stay on top of the story. For now, live in the newsroom, Josh Cristianto, ABC 15, Arizona. Josh, it's important to a lot of people. Thank you.